Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani. If you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this very dramatic pink spotlight eye. And I also added some pink glitter onto the spotlight part of the eye because you guys wanted a pink makeup look for Valentine's Day and here it is. I hope it's not too dramatic. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in how I got this look, let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm starting off with my eyebrows already done. If you guys want a tutorial, I have one on my channel already, so I'll link it in my cards so you guys can watch my brow routine if you guys are interested in that. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera, and then I went in and primed my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut, and then I mixed it with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn to make this really light color that you guys are seeing because... I am using pink today and I want everything to pop. So I went lighter with my base. Usually I'll use just chestnut as a base, but today I want to make sure everything is going to pop. So that's why I went lighter with my base. And I'm blending the concealer out with this Real Technique Deluxe Concealer Brush. Also in my brow routine, I'll show you guys how I prime my eyelids as well. So if you guys are wondering how I got to this point, I also show you guys in my brow routine. So go ahead and watch that video if you guys are trying to figure out what I just did. Now I'm gonna take the Laura Mercy A translucent powder to set this concealer into place so that I have a smooth blank canvas to work with. And the brush that I'm using is the Real Technique contour brush. I think that's the name. Hopefully, it looks like this. The letters kind of rubbed off, so that's why I can't really see it. Okay, so to start off, I'm taking the color Pinkie Pie from this My Little Pony palette from Pure. I honestly just want to see the color pay off of this pink, so that's why I'm using it today. But if you guys have the Morphe 35 B palette, you guys can use the pink in that palette. Like I said, I just wanted to use the pink in this palette because I haven't really used um, this palette at all. Like, I swatched it, but I haven't really used it. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe M441 brush. Okay. This is actually a good color payoff. Okay, so I'm starting on the outer corner of my eye and blending it all the way to the inner corner. And I'm making sure I keep this eye look round because I am doing a spotlight eye. So I want to make sure everything is round. If that makes sense so the reason why I decided to use the M441 brush to do this look is because it comes to a point I want to make sure I'm putting the color exactly where I want it to be and not blending it out too much so that's why I'm going in with this brush because it does come to a point instead of using a big old fluffy brush because then you can kind of go ham with the color and it just gets everywhere I want to make sure I'm putting the color exactly where I want it to be the pigmentation of this eyeshadow is on Point pure, okay, pure. Let me find out. Now I'm taking I'm into it from Matt, and I'm using my Morphe M506 brush, which is a tiny blending brush, and we're going to slowly build up this color because I went from white to dark real quick. Like I didn't use any in between shades. I'm taking this color and placing it where I want my spotlight eye to be, which is the outer corner and the inner corner. That's where I want majority of the color to be really pigmented. So that's where I'm gonna place the eyeshadow. And then we're going to connect it like it's a rainbow. And I'm just gradually blending it up and then I'm going to connect it to the inner corner, like so. I'm going back in with Pinkie Pie. That is such a cute name. Let's <laughs> make sure everything is nicely blend it okay now for the spotlight part I'm going to take the NYX multitasker mixing medium and I'm going to mix it with the LA girl pro concealer 
in font. <laughs> Take my handy dandy MAC 242 brush, mix it together, and apply it to my eyelids. And I line up the spotlight with my eyeball or the iris. Is that the iris or the pupil? Whatever this is called, I line it up with that. I notice if I don't line it up with this, my eyes can kind of look cross-eyed if you guys get what I'm saying it just looks a little weird so look straight ahead and line it up with your eyeball iris y'all know what I mean okay now that it's tacky I'm going to be going into my warms neutral palette from MAC and I'm going to take this pink color right here and I'm going to be using my Sigma eyeshadow brush if I can find it <laughs> Okay, here it is. The Sigma E55 brush. Now I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M506 brush. And I'm taking up into it on the brush and just blending out these edges. And I'm using pressing motions and like little sweeping zigzag motions like this. Okay, for liner, I was going to do a wing, but I'm feeling like I want to do my all time favorite smoked out wing. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm taking the ink liner from Makeup Forever. And I'm going to line my eyelids. Start thin on the inner corner and get thicker on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take Corrupt from Makeup Geek and I'm using my Morphe E36 brush to blend out or smoke out this liner okay so now that I've smoked out this liner I'm going to blend it up into the rest of the eye makeup I think we're just about done with the eye makeup just about okay so I want this eye look to pop even more like it's already popping so if you guys don't want to do the glitter you guys don't have to do this stuff but I think this look will be even prettier with some glitter um, I wish I had some glitter that had hearts in it because that would have took this look to a whole nother level of just makeup but I don't have any glitter that has hearts in it so I'm going to take my matte glitter in the color pink and place this on on the center of my eye and to make the glitter stick I'm using the NYX glitter primer I'm taking the Sigma E41 brush to stipple this glitter primer on my eyelid because I'm not trying to mess up anything Okay, so my battery went dead. <laughs> so I just went ahead and put the glitter on here, but I literally just stippled the glitter onto the primer that I put down right here in the center. So now for lashes, what lashes should I do? Okay, so I'm going to be stacking the Wispy Ardell Lashes with the Ardell 600 Black Lashes. Bruh, I hate when the lash gets stuck to the applicator. Get off. Okay, so I'm gonna let this glue dry and then I'll come back and do my face. 
face makeup. Okay, moving on to the face makeup, I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I'm going to mix it with the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation in 775, because this one is closer to my color, and this one is a little too light, but I love, love the coverage of this and how long it wears, so I'm going to be mixing it with this. Oh, before I do that, let me prime my face with the Fenty Beauty Primer using one pump. And then to fill in my pores, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. And then I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu Spray. Taking the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Foundation. Taking the NARS. I wasn't trying to pull out this brush. I was trying to pull out my Morphe one, but this is the Sigma F80 brush. I like this brush too, but I wanted the, the rounded one from Morphe. To highlight, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut and Fawn. Now I'm going to blend out everything with my Fenty Beauty sponge. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, so I'm going to set my face with the Studio Fix powder in NC47 and I'm using my Morphe MB1 brush. I haven't used this brush in a minute. Um, I got this from eBay probably like a year or two ago, and this used to be my go-to brush for contouring. I'm using the Black Radiance Press Powder in Rich Mahogany. For blush, I'm going to use Desert Rose from MAC, the same blush I always use. And I'm applying it with this Coastal Scents brush okay so my face is almost done so I'm gonna go back in and finish my eyes off real quick so I'm going to put down some more of the Laura Mercier powder just to catch any fallout and I'm gonna start off by lining my bottom waterline with the NYX retractable eyeliner in black and I'm bringing it down below that line too because I really want this bottom lash line to be really smoky. But if you guys don't want to do this, you guys don't have to do this. If you want to keep it light, I would definitely not do this if you want to keep it light. But I want my bottom lash line to be really zork and smoky. Okay. Taking the Elf Smudger Brush to blend this out. Now I'm taking Corrupt from Makeup Geek to set that black liner into place. And I'm just gonna keep building up the smokiness until I'm satisfied. And make sure you guys are tapping off the excess powder on your brush because you don't want it to fall out onto your face because we already did the face makeup. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M506 brush. I'm going to pick up Pinkie Pie from Pure. Now I'm just wiping off this excess powder. Apply mascara. my bottom lash and top lashes. 
to highlight my inner corner, I'm taking Twilight Sparkle from the Morphe, no, <laughs> from the Pure Palette. Then I'm just going to take these two colors and mix them together to finish highlighting my inner corner. I like the brow bone just a little bit. Okay, so to highlight my face, I'm taking bronze from the Anastasia Sun Dip Blue Kit. Now I'm going to top that off with Le Peach from Artist Couture. Now I'm just pressing it into my skin. All right, you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I gave you guys two lip options, one being a glossy lip, and I have on the Color Rich Lip Gloss from L'Oreal in the color Rich Rose. And I also paired it with Max Lip Glass just to make it more glassy. And then for the second lip option, if you're more of a matte girl, I decided to put on NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi, paired with the NYX Lip Liner in Espresso. And everything will be listed down below in the description box for you guys. I really hope you guys like this look. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day. If you guys do end up recreating this look, make sure you guys tag me so I can see you guys' pictures. And maybe you'll be featured in the next makeup tutorial. Who knows? Actually, there's one girl that just stuck out to me. So this was the look to the last makeup tutorial of the year. And this is the one that stuck out to me. Like, y'all, she bodied this look. I'm going to pop her picture up on the screen and her at name so you guys can see it and follow her if you guys want to follow her. Girl, if you're watching this video, first of all, thank you so much for recreating my look. You bodied it and you're gorgeous but yeah y'all go show her some love you guys do not even have to tell her i sent you but if you do want to tell her i sent y'all then you can but just go show her some love so that is it for this makeup look you guys i really hope you guys liked it happy valentine's day i hope you guys have fun let me know what you're doing on valentine's day and i will see you guys in my next upload bye